come on! <laughs> you want me to- oh, I just forgot I haven't, I haven't been wearing the safety strap for any of this. I could have killed myself. Alright, well, definitely gotta put the safety strap on for these games, because this is gonna blow me the fuck away, because we got, uh, auto racing. So let's just, let's, let's do it. Start. Press start. This isn't Famicom, this looks like Mario Kart. Oh my god, it scrolls terribly, this is... What is this? Can I get that? Is that a good thing? No, that's another racer. Hang on. What is this game? Because this, this plays like, just like a really crappy, like, F1 race pole position, but... The, the graphics are a lot nicer than I was anticipating. Do I have any any moves? No, I can't hop. I can't... Oops. Hit the tree. I like how there's a, there's a butt on every tree. It's supposed to be coconuts, but look at that. That's a butt right there. Look at that. That's a bona fide booty. Those pirates sailed all the way around the world really quickly, by the way. So we're just, we're just driving. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even turning right now. The game is kind of, it kind of plays itself. It gives you the illusion that you're, that you're doing something, but... Also, we gotta do three laps of this crap. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. We don't have enough time to complete three laps in what they gave us. If it doesn't re... Oh, is that? Okay, whoa, look at that. Turbo pad right there. Diddy Kong Racing, it ain't, but we got it. Alright. Let's see if we get... Okay, it does... And unfortunately, it does refill the time, so... Let's see what happens if you win it, if you complete a race. I notice it's not keeping track of what place I'm in. I'm just driving past people. For a game called Auto Racing, there's a there's a distinct lack of racing. This is mostly we're just uh, going on a casual drive down by the beach. This is what the beach where I'm from will look like in another 30 years after the ocean like just continues devouring the rest of the road. Can I, can I go in the water at least? Can I can I take a dip? No, there's not. It's not letting me. I just want to see if there's another level, or if there's only one stage. And I figure, I figure y'all will, uh, you know, even though we've got a resident sleeper emote in chat, I figured y'all will probably humor me if we just, uh, cruise around downtown. I didn't hit that, but okay. If we get all the way to the end of this third lap and we run out of time, I'm gonna feel really bad. But... You guys will know that that's just what happens here on Gator Box, okay? Uh, nothing, nothing on this show works out the way it's supposed to. Oh God, Wave Cube, don't, don't you dare sully Daytona USA with with this song. I mean, with uh, with uh, this game. <laughs> Daytona USA is a genuinely good game, and the people who made it know how cheesy and stupid every aspect of that game is and they hammed it up i don't know if it's available because everything gets delisted from xbox live arcade these days but the xbox live arcade re-release of daytona usa has a karaoke mode which i think is amazing as you're playing the game the lyrics to the music will appear at the bottom of the screen and you can sing along as you race it's amazing that they did something like that for the game a long time ago, before Gatorbox, a couple years before that, I was a part of a different gaming video project that I was a writer for, and none of that content made it out. We filmed some of it, but it just didn't pan out, and we were going to do an episode- Motherfucker, I called it! We were going to do an episode about- da yeah, 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 about Daytona USA, and uh, we actually filmed ourselves doing a cover of the song. This was before the Xbox Live reissue, though. This was- this was a while back. This would have been like 2010, 2009 or something. I don't know. We had the we had the Saturn version, but we we sang along. 
Anyways, that was auto racing, and I didn't finish it at the end, so you guys are probably uh, not happy. But let's let's I'll make it up to you. Ball battle. It's fucking what is this bejeweled? Hang on, can I just move it here? We're fighting balls. We gotta, we gotta charge up the plinquette. I think that was that German for score. Okay, I was thinking maybe you line up three in a row, but maybe it doesn't work that way. God damn it! These controls are miserable. Is it? Is it four in a row? Is it five in a row? It's five in a row. Jeez, it's just that simple, you guys. You can't get rid of them fast enough. The, you'll, you're always gonna lose. Because to move this, three more are gonna appear every turn. And it takes upwards of at least four moves to get rid of five balls. So 12 balls will have appeared. Y'all motherfuckers can't even count. Who made this game? I get five points apiece and you've got four digits on the score counter over there. Get the hell out. Yeah, you can definitely get them on the, on the obliques. I noticed there's some fish jumping in the background. Are they, are they fish or are they dolphins? I'm just hoping for something good. I'm hoping for some kind of goodness in this in this oh you gave me that one for free thanks game this is like it's like i'm playing a, some bastardized version of like ishido the way of the stones except it's just it's just really awful and i'm not having any fun with it that's how you know you made a good game right when somebody plays it and they're just like i'm not having any fun <laughs> i didn't even oh fuck i forgot hang on uh, shaking it counts as pressing A. You you couldn't even disable that for these crappy these these games. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this <laughs> Necros. This game is the game that bored kids are playing in a commercial before they bring out the good console. Before mom comes in and says. Hey kids, who wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese's? Me, me, me! <laughs> and then they just pick up this thing and smash it on the ground, you know? And then Chuck E. comes out with his guitar, he's like, Well, come on down to Chuck E. Cheese's! Now, with we sanitize the ball pit. Well, with a kid can be a kid! Remember that? Remember that from Chuck E. Cheese? Where a kid can be a kid? We're probably at the part of the game where we're gonna lose. You guys have a favorite Chuck E. Cheese commercial? Mine was the one where the kid had to walk the dog and he did an RC car. Yep, we're dead. That's it. Game over. Gam over. No, we're not doing it again. No, thank you. How do I go back? Oh, here we go. You guys. Big Boyga. I don't... Big Burger. Is this just like a crappy burger? This is burger time. Alright. A little bit of burger time here. It even plays the same. You gotta walk all over that food. You gotta give them the old Burger King foot lettuce special. You gotta, you gotta get the condiments on there. You gotta trap them on that, on that Boyga. Hit him with a dash of the, the condiments here. No, I oh I do have some. I was gonna but you have to be holding a direction to be able to use your salt and pepper. <laughs> and speaking of salt and pepper, when you when you decide to use it, you gotta make sure you push that button, and when you push it, you push it real good. Ah I don't know what that guy is, but I don't like him. I don't want him near my food. Oh, ice cream. That's what I'm talking about. Goes... Oh, shit. 
Goes great with burgers. Put a little bit of salt and pepper on that. <laughs> Way to give your favorite commercials where the kid turns into Chuck E. Cheese and the mom gets surprised. <laughs> Pass! You did it! It's just like second grade. You passed it. Except the guy that made this, this awful port of Burger Time failed it. I don't like that it says stage O2. That, that, that's that got some very scary connotations. Like, they're gonna try to... There's a lot more stages than, like, just a few. Also, this... I think this game is slowing down. I think it is genuinely, like, there's too much happening for the Zone 60 to, like, to do it. Yeah, and I just died again. I'm not gonna play 99 stages of this because I've only got one life left. So if I pick up an ice cream cone, I get more pepper? Will someone, would someone please tell me how the hell that works? Oh my god, you having trouble animating like eight sprites on the screen or something, that's it? This is supposed to be 32-bit graphics here, man. What's, what's up with this? I feel like I'm, I'm getting ripped off here. Oh god. Thankfully I had some pocket sand to get that guy away from me. Yeah, look at how fast- oh my god, as soon as the enemies come on screen, the game just starts chugging. My god- <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, come on, man. You can't even- oh my god. This is the future of gaming right here, man. Can you believe people would have paid 80 bucks for this? 40 bucks special value on sale? Totally not the actual price. How do you want your, uh, how do you want your meat? Cooked. How do you how do you want your patty cooked on your burger? I'll have it four frames a second, please. Uh, you know it's bad when the Atari Twenty Six Hundred version of the same game runs fifty times better than whatever the hell this is. The reason why I don't like Burger Time is because it's just like. The game plays like, hey, remember the final stage of Donkey Kong when you have to jump across or walk over the, the, the stoppers to drop the bridge that DK is on? Yeah, how about you do that 60 times in one stage? You having fun yet? I know the strategy is to work from the top and go down, but getting up here is a pain. I'm not the best at burger time. There's probably people watching this right now that are being like... This guy ever played Burger Time? I'd be like, yeah, I have, and I don't like it. Ah! Pocket sand. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> ah, Braveheart. Two words. Here we go. My favorite, my favorite Mel Gibson movie. I feel like we just got done playing this. Oh, this is just, this is just Super Mario Brothers, the arcade, or not Super, no, this is Mario Brothers, the original arcade game. Except the enemies don't, god damn it, the enemies don't turn around when they hit a stunned enemy. You managed to fuck that up. I feel like there's like too many enemies on the screen for this to be Mario Brothers now. I, I, you can't get to any of these guys. The, bir the birds just keep coming. It's like a Hitchcock movie. That is unplayable. That is unplayable trash. Oh my god. Okay, we had we had Ball Battle. Now we got Ball Blaster. And my guess is that this is going to be uh, Bust a Move. Or Puzzle Bobble. Whatever. No, it's Zuma. It's even worse. It's even worse. The game for Facebook moms everywhere. Oh, this is great. I like how it still gives you colors that aren't on the thing anymore. You managed to screw that up. I just, I'm gonna throw that out there. Wow. Look at that. Straight out of a... Straight out of a... Uh, Barbie girl game collection for Game Boy. Yeah, this is the same thing. Guess what? You know what? I got more than three brain cells. I ain't playing no Zuma. All I want to do is Zuma, Zoom, 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 and play something that's not Zuma. 
How am I supposed to get honeys in my caddy without my HD games? Xbox ain't got games. Come on, man. What even? What even? What is this? Am I supposed to be matching? Oh, I'm supposed to be matching these colors, I think. Or not. May I don't know. Uh, it says I'm a caddy, but I, I feel like we're hitting things with a tennis racket here. Oh, I see how this works. You just gotta, you gotta match up the balls. What is this music? Like, this, this is like, this is like somebody tried to make sense out of the crazy bus theme. So, this game, the way, I, the best way for me to describe this is that it's kind of like the game, I, I think it's pronounced Flypole. Except it's not very good. Flypool is a much better game, and Flypool was already at a disadvantage because when they made that game, they had to give it the subtitle, An Exciting Cube Game. I mean, it's a game. A kicky no hands with it. Oh my god, I ain't got time for this, man. Come on, dude. Are you, be are you being? Are you guys being for real right now? Go to the next page. Coin digger. <laughs> no, that was clam digger. Clam digger was from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. You wanna go home and play clam digger? It's when you go in and play games that bag and get more clams than you. This is a uh, this is Motherload. That old Flash game, I think, is what it was called or whatever. I was never particularly good at this. If I mash, does it? No, it just it just takes forever to to, re, to reel it in. I feel like I didn't hit that one, but okay. That's game over, huh? Did I just did I, I I literally just lost. Are you supposed to get every single... Hang on. Hang on. Let's go back to Coin Digger. So I noticed it says high score. Am I supposed to get that? There can't be enough time for this. You have to hit it... Okay, I guess if you get all five big coins, you'll, you'll have enough points. But if I feel like if you miss any shots, you're just you're not gonna make it. Oh now I got the I got the mystery bag, which I don't get any points for. It just gives me a bomb. I hate this. Let's play a little uh let's play a little bit of cooking cooking chaos. And I put the cherry on top. Over and over and over again. This game is like really jogging my memory here. Get that. No, don't get that. Don't get the purple thing. When I was younger, I remember there was a counting game when I was in like first grade. I think it was called Jelly Bean Factory. And you got to make these cookies. And you could also design like little monsters. And you could print them out. You could put as many jelly beans on the cookies as you wanted, as long as you only wanted to put ten or less. They spelled that right. They were so eager to, like, add more fruit to the the thing. Only up to four, though. Like, after four, they just, they didn't draw any more sprites for putting toppings on whatever it is we've got. Okay, so we're just, we're dropping Rolos on a donut now. <laughs> I feel like... This is what, this is what my streaming forward slash gaming quote unquote career is boiled down to. I'm playing a game where we're eating some donuts, putting some Rolos on top of that donut. You know, great with that? Rolo Tony. You know what that makes me think of? Brown Town. Rolo Tony, Brown Town. Check yourself at the door. Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more of those Rolos. I missed it. I want to see what happens if you get a perfect, but I guess it doesn't doesn't matter. 
Okay, how many more things are we gonna put toppings on? And what are the purple things? Why can't you put like spikes or bugs or something? Why don't you make a little purple bug? A little beetle or something. I don't know, a little cockroach. Instead, you drop a, a Chex Mix pretzel. That's purple. What the hell? I swear to God, those birds that are flying back and forth with that sash full of fruit, I swear to God, that was traced from, like, Cinderella or Snow White. One, it, It's that Disney movie where she's singing in the forest and the animals are helping her get ready and get dressed and they fly around her and put a little sash on her. I think it's Cinderella. Th that, that, it's, it's traced from that. I'm, it's, it's bothering me. Okay, this, they're just gonna do this, okay? I'm, I'm done. Nice cherries. Crazy coconuts. That's what I'm talking about. I like these guys. These guys are cute. I, are they, is it, are they supposed to be Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Am I supposed to hit those little kids? Kobe. I think, I think it's a basketball game. Yes! Okay, you're supposed to sink it in the barrel back there. Kobe. <laughs> was the- wait, was the background of the fruit game, was that also from Cinderella but compressed? Is that what that was from? Because like I said, it looked like it was stolen from something. Kobe. It looks like four bars is the magic. That's where you want to be. Looks like it goes in every time on four bars. I like how the score counter goes up to a uh, hundred. It's like, you think I'm gonna sink a hundred baskets in this god-awful game? So far, the only game we've played... Uh oh, that's gonna be too much. Or not, doesn't matter. The only game we've played tonight that I didn't absolutely hate was probably the golf game. Even though I know golf is like kind of a no-go situation on this stream. Everyone seems to not like golf or mini golf, but that was like the least worst. And if Burger Time, if Big Burger didn't have a terrible frame rate issue, that would probably be my, my next best pick. Are you going to stop blinking? I guess I'm waiting for me to press a button. Oh, we got an obstacle now. Doesn't matter. Out of my way. I'm gonna be, uh... I'm, I'm gonna be straight with y'all. I'm not gonna play this for what appears to be another 90 seconds. I really... This is not engaging in any way. There's no challenge. Maybe if the bird moved and made it hard, maybe there'd be something there. Wave cube, you put the, put the lime and the coconut and drink them both together. Okay, well, I've sank 27 shots in a row, so we're just... We're going to the next. Deep Storm. Hell yeah. What in... Oh, this is... This is Space Harrier. And I think... I think that would be spelled H-A-I-R-I-E-R. -I -I Holy shit. This is bad. Also, is that one of the UFOs from Point Blank that's flying around back there? Because I'm pretty sure it is. Y'all don't think I... These people are making the Zone 6, you don't think anyone's gonna anyone's gonna notice the things they steal. But oh my god, no, oh, go back to the UFO. Go back to the UFO. I don't like this one at all. Got some good hits on him though, I, I think. <laughs> never I never I've never played a game where the difficulty was was just that it was impossible to play. I would like a one-up, so maybe we can get to stage two and see the next boss. Oh man, come on! Whenever, whenever speedrunners talk about like lag reduction strats, I'm gonna think about games like this now. It's like, oh yeah, when we when we play Goldeneye, we intentionally stare at the friggin' roof as we run through a stage so that it reduces five frames of lag. 
so that we get through the level faster. This game is like, you can't even play it without 40 frames of light. Hang on, I'm getting that. Power up. Like, just moving to one side of the screen causes, like, what feels like three seconds of lag. I'm just, you just, I'm trying to shoot him, and then the game just slows down to a crawl. Okay, we got, we got past, oh no! Please, for the love of God, go back to the skull. Is this the, is this that head from the, the Nickelodeon bumper that, like, drinks out of the fountain, the cup of water? You guys remember that? Like, the really, really early CG animation of, like, the, the head with the nose that like goes and it like it drinks all the water out of the cup or whatever or maybe it's orange because then it says Nickelodeon and I don't know so you're gonna you're gonna fly away you're gonna get bored or something or oh he turned red he's not happy maybe maybe that was just a glitch maybe that was just a visual issue maybe th maybe the game is, is breaking in front of us as we speak Or no, wait, no, he just turns red when I shoot him now. He must be, he must be almost dead. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. Ah, oh, there we go. Level two. Oh, we beat the first stage of something. Now watch, this is going to be the UFO again. If it's the UFO again, I'll, I'll just reset. We'll do something else. Okay, what, what are those faces from? Those look familiar. And I feel like this is this is the enemy that has shown up now. It's these these scary clown faces. No, I meant to, ah. I was gonna double up on my power ups. There's not a single thing I like about it. I don't think I don't think I have the patience for this anymore. And we're, we're it's starting to repeat enemies. So let's just let's let's skip ahead. Yeah, I know. Here we go, dragon. Not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. That's a dragon, all right, isn't it? So I'm assuming the goal here is to get the fruit, and then to to whack to to hit these ghosts with the dragon. Now this is this is a game. I mean, this is the closest we've come to a game so far that actually you know is, is somewhat functional. I may have spoken too soon, though, because I don't... Can I... Is the... Okay, hang on. Is the dragon a platform? Yes. Okay. I was gonna say, I, this game might not be winnable past this point. This... This feels a lot like, uh... Rainbow Islands? But just, like, not a very good Rainbow Islands. I don't know if that... If, if y'all can hear the music all that well, but it's, uh, it's kind of crappy. We got a bomb enemy. Shoot the dragon off. That sounds suggestive. Ooh, giggity. This is some real, like, outsider music they got going on in these games, man. <sighs> Unfortunately, whenever Naruto takes a step forward, he walks, like, eight steps, so... It's kind of hard to... Oh man! This really just sounds like just bad Casio music. What is that? Oh, I got a bigger dragon now! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Who doesn't want a bigger dragon? Am I right? Oh, damn it. At this point, I'm just trying to get to the top now. I don't. I really don't care about getting the fruit. And I don't even have a big dragon. I, it shrank. Must be cold outside. Okay, now see, this is this is new. I mean, I thought it was new. There were spikes at the bottom. I thought that was cool, but it doesn't really doesn't really make any difference, I guess. Hang on, we got roller skates here. I definitely got to get on that. 
it makes you run faster, which kind of makes the game actually probably not a good idea to get that item because it just makes it harder to play. Whoops, didn't really think that one through all the way. Okay, well, we almost got to the top, but anyways, tell you what, it's midnight, and this actually, we only got through 20 of the games on the Zone 60. Granted, the first 11 were all uh, motion controls, so these next ones aren't going to be that bad. Let's take a look at what the Zone 60 has in store, because we can, we can do this again. Hey, that's going to do it uh, for Gator Box this week. I want to thank everyone for coming out. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. Also, yeah, Smoker Mega Drive, they should have just stolen some Famicom games like all the cool pirates do. But I almost like... It's almost refreshing in a way to see one of these dumb bootleg consoles that just has something aside from Zippy Race and Road Fighter 14 times with bad ROM hacks and Contra... 30 Contras where it just lets you pick a level and a weapon and they just say that's a different game. But it ain't, that's the same damn game, okay? We just played this. That's the same level. It's the same boss. It's the same 3D stages. It's just now you stop me with the shotgun. And you don't even prevent me from picking up anything that would cause me to get rid of the shotgun. That's stupid. But I don't know what the hell those games were. Those was Were, were those Sega Genesis games? Were they Super Nintendo games? The box is 32 bits, but I don't believe that. Uh, the actual hardware, I don't know what's inside the Zone 60, but I can tell you, it uh, if you put AA batteries in it, you will double the weight of the console, because it is incredibly light. You could not even use it as a paperweight, because it would blow away with your paper. Um, I don't have a postage scale handy, but if I did, I would just weigh it right now to prove a point as a joke, but it's... It feels like the cheapest thing on the planet. Like if you dropped it, it would just shatter like a like 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 a like a china plate. It would just just blow apart to a million pieces. With all the pirate stuff that we've played in the past, it is neat to see something that doesn't just have the same games on it. So even though the games are not good, they're different. So we haven't seen them before. We're not it's not going to be like the 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 retro play 201 where i mean that was that was a pretty good collection of games don't get me wrong we had a lot of great moments in that but a lot of the games were just like stolen nes games it's not going to be like the the super joy super joy or yeah super joy not power joy it's not gonna be like the super joy where it says 16,001 and it's just like 4,000 iterations of popeye and contra in Bird Week and Balloon Fight over and over and over again, right? That doesn't count. So, I mean, we're going to do this again next week and we're going to finish up the rest of these games. Uh, but my verdict right now, would this be worth the 40 bucks? the actual, like, no joke, would this be worth the retail price? Hell no. Absolutely not. There's not, there's not a game we've played that I haven't just played and then been like, I enjoy this. Except maybe Mini Golf, but the weird... The way that, that they try to get you to do motion controls, that, that all just sucks. It's a gimmick. It doesn't work. Uh, I could point out that because the motion, like, they want you to swing this around, right? Obviously. They want you to do that. And, in fact, I should probably turn that off because it's, it's still on. Uh, they want you to swing this around and use it to play the motion control games. But because of that, it only tracks motion. Like I said, when you do this, that's just pressing the A button. It doesn't matter which way you swing it. There's no accelerometer in it. There's just a thing that when it knows when you shake it, you're pressing A. So there's a little infrared thing in the front, just like a TV remote. And the way this works is that there's an infrared sensor here, 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 and here. There's six. So when you're just doing this, it's banking on the fact that one of these infrared LEDs is pointing at the system so it can see what you're doing. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. And I can't believe that was their solution. 
But yeah, that's the that's the Zone 60 Special Metallic Edition. We got through a third of the games, and I'm confident that we'll be able to knock out the, the remaining two-thirds next week, because like I said, it's just these little games. So Fandramon is correct. She is uh, one step ahead of me. Uh, like I said, this is all Patreon's fault. So if you've been supporting Gatorbox on Patreon, I really appreciate it. Uh, like I said, you guys really kind of help make this stream possible, especially these days where yeah, I've just been kind of scraping everything together and, and kind of running by the seat of my pants. So I really appreciate y'all's support, as well as whenever y'all subscribe and stuff like that on, um, uh, on Twitch. Like I said, I would really prefer, if you want to get money involved, to do it on Patreon, but even if you subscribe on Twitch, I mean, I still get, like, a little bit. I get half of that. I get a little bit. But, uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad y'all have fun every Friday night. I mean, I enjoy doing this. So, uh, holy crap. Gilgatex, thank you for the 100 Twitch pennies. Uh, that was loud. I heard the alert from there. That probably bled over. That actually kind of scared me. I was like, ah! <laughs> Money! But some coming attractions that's also Patreon's fault. We've got... I got one of these. This is the Power Joy. That looks stupid as hell, doesn't it? Uh, this is a fam Famiclone with probably stolen NES and Famicom games in it. And it's in an N64 controller. But it's not the one you're thinking of. The one you're thinking of is called Super Joy. This one actually has a stick that kind of feels like it works. It's got a D-pad, it's got buttons, and then it has a Z button, but it's a gun. It doubles as a light gun because this is an emitter. It's not going to work because I don't have a CRT television, but I think this is stupid in a really funny way. And I also kind of got upset because uh, the eBay seller I bought this from said it was testing and in working condition, but it's missing... It's battery cover, which has a special metal plate to complete the contacts, and without it, it's not going to work if you put batteries in it. But the good news is, all the way down here by the video ports, there's an AC adapter plug, and it just so happens that the Zone 60's adapter appears to work with this perfectly because the LED indicator comes on and it works. So uh, we've got greatness ahead at some point in the future. And, and... You may have noticed there is a big-ass ugly slot on the back. Well, that fits Famicom cartridges. And you might be asking yourself, Draco, do you have any Famicom games to test this with to see if it actually will play a cartridge? Yes, I do. I have Tetris and, like, City Connection and some crappy Mahjong game. So uh, whenever we get around to this, I will absolutely test it. Uh, but yeah, I was really glad because in the Discord earlier I was upset that the um, the thing I didn't have that this was missing, but maybe it'll work. But this is coming attractions. I need to clean this because it's filthy and it smells uh, smells like a convenience store. Thanks for checking out this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Either way, your feedback is appreciated. And you can also subscribe to Gator Box if you like this content and want to see more of it from us. Catch us live. Friday nights at 9 p.m. Central at twitch.tv forward slash Gatorbox. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash Gatorbox or streamlabs.com forward slash Gatorbox.